Today, I will rank every single graphics card that you can buy right now that's still relevant this year. I will go through all price points, going from 1080p to 1440p to even 4K GPUs. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly which graphics card to buy depending on your budget and needs. The best graphics cards for every budget and resolution will be featured down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability in your region. And I will leave you the best price performance model for each GPU. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. And also before starting, I want to say that every GPU mentioned today is still relevant, meaning that you can buy them right now for a reasonable price. Because for example, a 4070 Ti is a previous generation graphics card that you can still buy right now, but the price doesn't make sense because it goes for a more expensive price than the newer RTX 5070 Ti that goes for around $50 less. So the 4070 Ti and other GPUs of that nature will not be featured throughout this video. With that in mind, now let's start. So we'll go from the worst performing GPUs to the best ones, so the lowest price to the most expensive ones. Now, first we start off with the cheapest NVIDIA GPU that you can get in the RTX 5050. Now, this graphics card a couple of weeks ago used to be way more expensive at 250 bucks. And if you find it at 250, I would say do not buy this GPU, it's not worth it. The level of performance is just not there for 250 dollars. But for 200 bucks, it's actually quite interesting because it's decent for 1080p gaming, even on medium to high settings. So if you're working with a tight budget, there are not many options out there. And if you really don't want to spend over 200 dollars it can be an interesting gpu now it is bottlenecked by its 8 gigs of vram which i do not like that's why i'm going to put it in the meh tier i mean it's okay it's not the worst i wouldn't avoid it because it's actually quite decent for some people if you really don't want to spend the extra 50 bucks and get something like a 5060 or an intel arc b580 but it's just something that i would not recommend most of the time now the b570 from intel kind of the same thing at 210 bucks even slower than the 5050 so if you're going to buy one i think i would recommend the 5050 even though the b 570 has more VRAM. I do not think the level of performance is there and also you get an Intel GPU so even though they improved over the years when it comes to drivers, Nvidia has DLSS which is supported by more games and that's going to give it the advantage in my recommendation. I'm going to put the B570 on the meh tier. Not the best, also not the worst so it's going to be just there. Now the ARC B580 is a different story. At 240 bucks you get even more VRAM at 12 gigs of VRAM. It is also quite faster than the RTX 5050 and it's going to provide a really nice experience over Overall, especially if you want to play higher demanding games on high ultra settings and if those games that you play do require more than 8 gigs of VRAM, the B580 will be your best option. So I do think that it's actually a decent GPU. I'm going to put it here. It's a good GPU overall. It's not the best one of course, but it's a decent one especially for the price that you are paying in this overpriced market. Now the RTX 5060 is going to be good overall as well and let me explain why. Now this GPU usually goes for around 300 bucks but as of right now it's going for 250 and for 250 it's actually pretty decent. I I do think is a good GPU. Now it's not the best deal, so it could also go to the bad deal row, but I do think the level of performance is there. Now, would I like to see more VRAM? Of course, the 5060 is bottlenecked by its 8 gigs of VRAM, which is something I do not like, but for 250 is actually a decent deal. Now, if you are thinking between the RB580 or RTX 5060, you have to think about VRAM. Do the games that you play use more than 8 gigs of VRAM? If yes, then the B580 will be your best option. If no, the RTX 5060 will be better because it's quite faster when it comes to gaming performance compared to the Intel GPU. Now the 9060 XT 8GB version as of right now is a decent GPU but it's a bad deal in my opinion because you're paying more than the 5060 and it doesn't provide that much more performance. The 5060 in my opinion is a better GPU overall. You get DLSS which is supported by more games and as of right now is cheaper. Now if you are in other parts of the world maybe the price is different and the 5060 is much more expensive than the 9060 XT. In that case I would recommend you getting the 9060 XT but for the US by the time of filming for 287 it's just a bad deal because because it also has 8 gigs of VRAM, so you're not getting more performance or more VRAM compared to the 5060 or B580. Now the 5060 Ti 8GB version is the first one going to the Avoid tier. This GPU right here is 315 bucks and it comes with 8 gigs of VRAM in 2025 or 2026 depending on when you're watching this video and this is just criminal. It should be a crime to put 8 gigs of VRAM on a graphics card that's over 300 bucks, so do not buy this GPU. The only reason why I would see someone buying this graphics card is if you play esports shooters and you want a faster CPU and you just don't care about having more than 8 gigs of VRAM because you just don't play any high demanding games. But even then, if in the future you want to play any high demanding title at 1080p, VRAM is going to be
be quite important so unless you want to play on the lowest settings so yeah i would avoid this gpu at all costs however the 9060 xt 16 gb model is actually really good i like this gpu when it comes to value so if you have around 300 to 400 dollars to spend this one will be one of the best price to performance gpus in the entire market i do think it's great value so i'm just going to put it in the best of the best tier i do think it's really nice when it comes to value once again especially for the price that you are paying you are going to be playing at 1440p without any issues or 1080p if you want very high frame rates and vram is not going to be an issue now the nvidia alternative will be the 5060 ti 16 gb model but it is going to be quite more expensive for around 50 dollars more so even though the 5060 ti is also great when it comes to value it's not as great as the 9060 xt because it's 50 dollars more so this one is good overall i definitely recommend you buying the nvidia one if you want the nvidia feature set once again the lss it is supported by more games or a better level of ray tracing performance if you play at 1080p in high demanding games but for the price that you are paying the 9060 xt it is going to be the better option when it comes to that price to performance now the 5070 is actually a tough one because the price for this gpu is changing basically every single day and the 5070 is a great graphics card for 1440p resolution in high demanding games high to ultra settings however as of right now the rx 9070 is very similar in terms of pricing and it is going to give you a slightly better performance that being said the 5070 is great overall i do like it it's a bit expensive of course but if you want a premium 1440p experience the 5070 is a great gpu but the 9070 is slightly faster and has more vram so i'm going to put it one step above the rtx 5070 because of that performance and vram difference now the 9070 xt is definitely going to the best of the best as of right now because of its price performance for 620 bucks which yes it is still expensive but it's definitely not as expensive as it used to be and it's going to give you top tier performance for 1440p even in the most high demanding games on high to ultra settings and you can play at 4k resolution without any issues so if you're looking for a decently priced 4k gpu the 9070 xt will be up there same for the 5070 ti now the 5070 ti is not great when it comes to price compared to the 9070 xt as of right now going for 130 bucks more however you get the nvidia feature set so again you get a better level of ray tracing performance and you get the lss so if you want nvidia go with the 5070 ti if you want a 4k gpu that's decently priced that's why the 5070 ti is also going to the best of the best but it's not going to be better than the 9070 xt mainly due to the pricing so yes the 5070 ti is an amazing gpu it's also not the most expensive one from nvidia that's why it gets the best of the best that's why in my opinion is one of the best gpus that you can buy but it's just not going to be better than the 9070 xt if you're looking for the best price performance deal now the 5080 and 5090 are both going to the same tier both are very high end they are the highest end actually the 5080 and 5090 these are the best performing gpus that you can get but they are very expensive so of course if you are shopping for a 5080 or a 5090 go ahead and buy them because if you have the money to buy these gpus you are going to be getting top tier performance but i cannot put it in the best of the best because i also have to look at the price and the 5090 goes for 2500 dollars which is double the amount of a 5080 and a 5080 goes for around 400 dollars more than the 5070 ti or 500 dollars more than the 9070 xt and it's not that much faster so if you're just looking at the performance levels these two are going to be the best let me know in the comment section what you would have done differently with these gpus the only two gpus that i'm not very comfortable with are the 5060 and b 580 here because of course i do not think they're actually in the same tier as these other three gpus in the 5060 ti 16 gb model 5070 and 9070 but they are also not bad deals i just think that they are just okay so that's why they are in good overall but if you want to put it here i would also understand and remember that you will find the best gpu deals down below in the video description and if you're looking to build a pc yourself i made a complete guide on the best pcs that you can build right now for every budget and every resolution or the best pre-built computers i also made that video so you will find both videos in the screen right now depending on if you want to build a pc yourself or you want to buy a pre-built one thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one